Today, photography has changed dramatically. Photographers are no longer content just to take still photographs. Many of the HDSLR cameras now offer full video capabilities, but trying to get that steady shot can be quite difficult. So what you really need is a good tripod and more importantly, a good tripod head. And in this video, we're going to be showing you a brand new tripod head from Manfrotto, the 500. So let's take a look at it. The 500 is Manfrotto's entry level into their bridging technology tripod heads. Now this tripod will work equally well with a camcorder or an HDSLR camera. And that's why it's called the bridging technology, not just because of its bridging construction. The thing that makes this so ideal for video work is it has fluid drag system built into it. It's already built into the tripod head and that means we can get really smooth pans and we can also get smooth tilts up and down. The video head will accept cameras up to a maximum weight of five kilograms. But in order to make full use of the fluid drag system, cameras shouldn't be ideally anything more than 2.4 kilograms in weight. Once you start getting too heavy, then the camera may start to pull the tripod either up or down by its sheer weight. The fluid drag system gives the tripod head quite a smooth action when you're doing your tilts or your pans. And this is already sort of pre-factory set. There's no control on there. So this is one, a down point on this particular head. More sophisticated heads would give you more control on the amount of resistance you have for your fluid motions on there. But we can actually just tighten up the locking screw a little bit on there and that just gives a little bit more resistance. It's not ideal, but it does work to a certain fashion. At the rear here, we also have a, a pan lock on there. And again, the pan motion on there, it's already predefined the fluid motion will put a certain amount of resistance on there. To increase that resistance, we can just tighten up the nut a little bit there and that increases the resistance so you can get a smoother pan on there. And the video head also includes a spirit level on there. Tripods also have got their own spirit levels. This one works particularly well. The pan arm is sufficient length on there. I would have liked a little bit longer extension on there, but it, it actually works quite well. It's nice and compact. And you can also adjust this to any angle you want. I know a lot of video guys like to put their pan arms up this high, and then they have this sort of control on it. And also, you can also move it to the sideways as well. Um, for left-handed people, they may want to put the pan arm on this side. So it's fully interchangeable, no matter which side you put it on. And whilst we're on here, there's also an accessory point here where we can attach various arms. If you want to put a small monitor on there or an external microphone, Manfrotto does supply a host of accessories that can be fitted on here. The supplied camera mounting plate, it's a long version of this, which is not ideal for HDSLR cameras because obviously they've got a narrow body, but for video camcorders, then the longer body is ideal. And you may notice a little hole at the top here. Manfrotto does supply an accessory non-rotating pin which can easily be placed in there. And this will stop the camera from rotating around, but this is really applicable for movie camera work. One nice feature with this new mounting plate is that it's a quick release and quick mounting. You can just snap it into position there and then we just lock it off via this screw here and that is secure now. That'll hold the camera secure. If you've got an existing Manfrotto tripod plate, then they will actually fit onto this 500 series. And you can use the quick snap in function here by just pressing on there. It does require a bit of extra pressure to push it down on there. But one thing you should be aware of, that these plates, although they will fit, they're not very secure because they will just snap off very quickly. And that means you could actually lose your camera. So make sure that you do tighten up the securing screw on there and now it won't come off. The long plate that's supplied to the camera, as mentioned, is ideal for video camcorders. But for DSLR cameras, it's possibly far too long for the camera itself. And if you've got a, a slightly fatter lens, then it's gonna be sort of obscuring the lens itself. Now this will fit on quite quickly. We've got a, a lip on 
this mounting plate which isn't on the other plates and this is actually for securing so when we put it down on there now we can't actually move the camera off and the other nice thing is with all the Manfrotto plates if you forget to tighten up then the camera won't actually fall off there is actually a stopper on the plate itself to stop it falling off but fortunately there is a locking device on here to stop the camera falling off the tripod just tighten up the the screw on the bottom there and now the camera is secure on there. The video head comes in two configurations, one where it's got a flat base which can be mounted onto any tripod but obviously having it on a ball and socket head there will give you far more control on there. We can move the head around on the ball and socket quite easy there to balance it up nicely. The other configuration is that it's already pre-mounted onto a ball and socket head which will only fit onto tripods which will accept the ball and socket. Another one of the disadvantages of the long plate is that it can snag up with flip out screens although in this case it's just given sufficient clearance on here. Some screens it's actually just dragging very slightly on there. So in summary the Manfrotto 500 actually produces some really nice smooth videos. With a conventional tripod head, you wouldn't get that same smoothness. Would have liked a little bit more control on the drag, pan and tilt drag, and the tilt drag. But as it is, it's actually given sufficient control for an HDSLR camera. For a movie camera, so especially something a little bit more heavier, then maybe you should be looking at some of the other models of the Manfrotto fluid heads. The tripod plate comes together with two screw mounts, one a three, three eighths of an inch and one a quarter inch screw which will fit most HDSLR cameras. You get one plate included on there, um, obviously you've got to buy a set of tripod legs as well but at £130 it's actually very very good value for money.